This trailer wiring harness installation guide is for a Dodge Grand Caravan. The part installed in this video is a 4-flat connector kit and a mounting bracket. Four flat connectors are needed to connect the vehicle's operating lights to the operating lights of most non-braked trailers. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. For all of you that are going to be using your Dodge Grand Caravan to tow a trailer, you're going to need trailer lights. And we're going to have to install a trailer wiring harness to the taillights of the vehicle. So to do that, we need to get directly behind the taillights and we'll have to open up the uh, rear, door here, rear door here to gain access to the bolts that, that remove the taillights. So let's go ahead and do that. Real simple, we're gonna be removing two bolts here and here, here and here, and the lights will just come right out. This vehicle is not equipped with an OE tow harness, so we're gonna be using a T-connector taillight harness and to install that we need to get directly behind the taillights. To remove the taillights, we're gonna take a 10 millimeter socket and remove top bolt here and the bottom bolt there. And then we'll just take a trim tool and kind of wedge, wedge the taillight out. Let's go ahead and do that. And these bolts come out with little effort. We'll take our trim tool. I'm just going to go along the edge of the tail light. You can see it just pops right out. This is the back of the tail light, and this is the connector that we're going to be using to add our T connector tail light harness. Now, to remove this connector, the button right at the top here. Just gonna press that button in. Comes right out. Um, it comes out to a four flat end. And you can see that it has a power converter box. It's going to require power from the battery. And we're going to have two T connectors here. The yellow and brown are going to be for the driver side. The green wire is going to get routed over to the passenger side. So let's go ahead and get our yellow and brown wire connected to the driver side. This is the uh, OEM taillight connector that we just removed. We'll go ahead and plug these guys in. Tail light back. Get this guy plugged in. Okay. And then with all of this excess, we're gonna go ahead and route it right down into the behind the bumper. There's a lot of space down there and it opens up right underneath the vehicle. So we'll be able to just pull it all down. Okay, and now that we have all of our wiring hanging underneath the bumper there, we're left with a ground wire with a ring terminal. And this we're gonna go ahead and just mount to the body right here. And let's go ahead and do that real quick before we put the tail light back together. Okay, so before we put the ground screw through the body here, we're just gonna take a quick peek behind this grommet to make sure that there's nothing there that we're going to damage. And it's wide open, so let's go ahead and mount that screw there.
Okay, and that's it for the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and put it back together here. We're just gonna do the reverse steps of taking it off. Okay, now we're gonna route the green T connector over to the passenger side, get to that side connected, and that'll be our four flat install. We're gonna be doing the exact same steps as we did on the driver's side on this passenger side here. Just taking the light out, putting the, the connector, T connector in, and that'll be it. Okay, now that we have our tail light connectors in place, we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, 12 gauge black battery wire that they give us to run up to the battery. Um, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that I've got the 12 gauge wire ran up to the engine compartment near the battery, I'm gonna go ahead and start securing the line down with these with the provided zip ties here. I'm going to make sure that also we want to make sure that we're not going to any moving parts or hot parts like the exhaust and anything that can damage the wire. So go ahead and zip tie this here to the brake line. Perfect. And, and what I did on running the wire, I just followed the brake line all the way up to right next to the battery. So that, that was actually ideal and perfect for this vehicle. So we'll go ahead and continue on down towards the engine compartment, just securing the line down. Okay, now that we have the battery wire ran, uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect the two pieces here one coming from the tail light converter and the one that we ran to the battery. We'll be using the 12 gauge yellow butt connector provided with the product. And done. Now that we have the wire fed underneath the vehicle, um, we are pulling it up to the engine compartment here. I've, I've actually pushed it up and got it fed through these lines here. Looks, it looks really nice. It looks like it fits. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull that right up. Okay, now that we have the wire pulled through, um, we don't wanna just lay it across the battery or engine compartment or, or fuse box here. We wanna route it, make it look Nice and neat, all the existing wiring harness down here. And we're gonna go ahead and leave this right here where we make our connections to the positive side of the battery here. Next step is we're gonna take our fuse holder and we've gotta make a few connections here. We need to put the eyelet ring terminal on this end here. We'll go ahead and do that really quick take some crimpers trimpers and crimp that on and then next we're gonna take our 10 to 12 gauge yellow butt connector put it on the other end and we'll crimp that on right there perfect this guy's all set to go next we're gonna take this nut off of the positive side of the battery. This is an accessory post, so we can go ahead and take that off and we'll connect our ring terminal there. This is a 10 millimeter 
socket here for that nut. So we'll get that connected and get it moved. It comes off really easy. Okay, so it looks like this, the thread has a notch in it so that the, the nut can't come off all the way. Um, not a problem though. What we're gonna do is take our ring terminal here. We're gonna make a small cut in it and it'll just be able to slide right, out, right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and make two cuts. Open that up, you can see it's open there. And I'll go ahead and just slide it right in. And perfect. Now we can tighten it back down. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and route existing. I'm gonna go ahead and route the other end of this fuse holder up and under. And now we're gonna take the wire that we ran and connect it to our fuse holder wire. We'll strip the end off here. And last, this is the fuse holder for our 10 amp fuse. Go ahead and put that in there. Now our converter box, and now our converter box is activated. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean this wire up here and get it taped down up, and it'll kind of it'll just sit right down in here. Okay, we've got our battery wire connected and we're gonna go ahead and go around back and test our wiring, make sure that everything works well. We're done here, so we'll go ahead and close the hood up. Last thing we need to do is mount our four flat bracket. And we found a nice spot right here on the driver's side underneath the bumper. And we're gonna go ahead and drill we're going to make sure that it's nice and square looks really good and then we're going to drill a couple holes here drop some screws down and bolt it down so let's go ahead and do that here Now that we've got our four flat bracket mounted, we're gonna go ahead and take our four flat here and the dust cover that comes with the product. Let's wrap it over. This dust cover is gonna keep uh, dirt, grime, and corrosion out of the four flat ports here. And next thing we'll just push the four flat right through the bracket. It's got little grooves on the side that lock it in. Just like that. Close the cover up. That gives you a nice clean install. And that'll conclude our wiring install for the Dodge Grand Caravan. To learn more about the products seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.